Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to another video. My name is Michael. Today I'm really excited because we get to review this really cool condenser microphone by the company Fine Fine. This is a K678 and what we're going to do in a minute, we're going to do a quick unboxing. I'm going to put it back in the box and do, do another unboxing so you guys can actually see the packaging. And then we're going to go ahead and test it out. Uh, we'll probably use some different microphones that I use here in the studio uh, and also some distant uh, tests. And then at the end, I'll give you the cons and pros of this microphone and let you know if I recommend it or if you should pass on this microphone. So if you're interested, don't go anywhere and stay here with me. All right, guys, and we are back. But before moving forward, if this is your first time watching one of my videos, welcome to the channel. Here at this channel, what we do is we review action figures, collectible toys, and also we review gadgets, electronic, and from time to time we do photography and video tutorial. So if you're into that, you might wanna consider staying here with me, considering subscribing. And if you like this video, if you can do me a favor, if you can hit that like button, it actually helps me with the YouTube algorithm. All right guys, and here is our packaging for our microphone. Let's go ahead and get it out. So it has a door, a little opening on the top. Oop, really nice. And inside it comes with um, a thank you card. And it comes with uh, the user guide. I find it does a really, really good job with their user manual. So good job. So if you guys have a chance, make sure you read through, uh, even though I don't think you need it because it's really easy to set up. But if you have any problems, you can always go back to the manual. All right, so here is the inside. Really cool cover, right? It's covered with the foam protector. And here is our microphone. So, so far it looks like a really nice packaging. Great job, fine, fine. I really love this packaging. By the way, I did a review on the T683 uh, fine, fine microphone. It was a kit. If you're interested, I'm gonna leave that in the, uh, maybe right here, a little card right here that you can click. And if you wanna check out that microphone, it's a really good microphone for a really good affordable price. I think it was like $79.99, so check it out. All right, so let's go ahead and get our microphone. And so far, one thing I can tell you is that it feels really heavy, which is a good thing. Uh, the, me the microphone itself is made out of metal and the, the stand is uh, die cast. So, so far it feels really sturdy and in good quality, which is really nice. And also right here we have an adapter. I believe this is the 3 8 take my nose. This is the 5 8 mil to a uh, 3 8 female adapter. You can use this if you wanna hook it up to your arm, Caesar arm, if you have one of these. Uh, you can actually mount this, you can mount this mic, which is really nice. We'll take a look at it later. And also it comes with the USB type A to mini USB, so. All right, before connecting the mic, I wanted to show you really quick the bottom of the microphone. Right here you have your headphone jack, 3.5 headphone jack and then you have your uh, quarter 20 uh, thread, uh, and then you have your mini USB, all right? Uh, right here at the front, you'll have two knobs. You have your game knob, where you can control the microphone levels, and then you have your headphone knob, which is really nice. On the back, you have your mute, mute button, so if you are in a conversation, Zoom, and you're gonna cough or something, you can actually press that button, and it'll mute your, your microphone, which is really nice. So. Let's go ahead now and connect our microphone to the computer. So now I had the Fine Fine K678 connected to my computer. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna be going back and forth with that, my Comica, uh, the uh, VM20, which is a shotgun mic. And we're gonna be going back to the K678. So we're gonna be going back and forth and I'm gonna superimpose somewhere on the screen whenever I make that change. So that way you guys can compare the sound quality. All right, so uh, so far I have, I have to say I like what I have here. The one thing that I had to point out, the setup was really easy. All I had to do is basically connect it to my computer. I'm using a PC and it was an easy setup, as simple as that. I didn't have to do any additional steps. Now. There are some things that if you wanna control the way you monitor the audio through the computer, uh, instead of having the headphone jack through the uh, microphone, you will have to change some settings 
um, on the computer. But other than that, all it takes is just to connect it to your computer and voila, the magic is done. It's already set up. So that is honestly a plus. The most important thing I will have to say is what do you think of this microphone? So I'm doing this test so you can make up your mind and decide if this is the microphone you're looking for and that way you can listen to the quality. So I'm not adding any filters for, uh, for this YouTube video. This is the audio coming straight to the computer. All right guys, so now we're gonna go ahead and test our microphone, but before moving on, I wanted to mention that you can actually buy a pop filter for this microphone. Um, the one that I have here, the one we're reviewing, it doesn't come with one, but if you wanna get a pop filter, I will highly recommend it. You can get this one. This is the one for the uh, that came with my T683. Um, and you can actually buy this on Amazon for, I believe is $14.99. They also have another kit where you can get the microphone with the pop filter included. And I think it's for some $67. Sometimes they have that sale. So if you're lucky enough, maybe you can log in right now on Amazon. In fact, I'm gonna put a link in the description. Just click on that link and see if they have it on sale for that price. But if not, I will highly recommend you to get that pop filter. Anyway, let's move on now with our distance. Um, mic check. So right here, um, about, I will probably say about maybe seven inches away from my mic from the microphone. So now I'm gonna go ahead and move a little bit farther away. So here we go, one, two, three, testing. So um, probably maybe, let's go ahead and move a little bit farther away. All right, how does that sound? Let's go ahead and lower that mic so it's pointing at me. Mic check, mic check, how does that sound? Does it sound good? Mic check, mic check. All right, and now I'm gonna get a little bit closer and maybe let's say about five inches mic check mic check what's up guys my name is michael welcome to the channel oh by the way if you haven't subscribed to the channel make sure you hit that subscribe button and if you like the content i'm making can you do me a favor and hit that like button all right guys and now i want to do a quick test i want to go ahead and test the uh, t683 um with the uh, K678. This is the one I, I did a review maybe about a month ago. So if you're interested, check it out. Uh, the link is gonna be in the description or if I can put another car, I'm gonna put it right here. This was a kit uh, that it included the um, arm. It also included the shock mount and also included the pop filter. So a really, really good microphone that I will highly recommend as well. All right, so let's go ahead and do a mic check. Uh, what are we gonna do now? So I'm gonna go ahead and switch the microphone and I'm gonna keep it, I'm gonna try to keep it around the same distance so that way you guys can uh, compare it. All right, and here with me, I have the Fine Fine T683. Uh, so we're gonna be going back and forth with the K678. Uh, and that way you guys can compare them. Again, these two microphone, condenser microphones are made by the same company, all right? So now I'm gonna go ahead and switch to the other mic. Here we go. All right guys, so now here with me, I have the K678. Uh, wanted to point out that I have the knob set on, this, on the same on both microphone. Uh, and I'm trying to keep the same distance so you guys can compare. Now I only have one computer, so I can't shoot at the same time with the two microphones. So what I'm, going, what I'm doing is basically connecting and disconnecting the microphone. So hopefully this will help you make a better decision on which mic do you think is better for you. Uh, one thing that I want to point out to consider, I think this particular microphone, the K670A, is more, uh, they're marketing the portability uh, design of this microphone. So if you're on the go and you're always on the, uh, from meetings to meeting on a Zoom call or a blogger and you go to different locations and you can't take your whole kit with you with the arm and everything, that's why the convenience of having a stand like this it makes it so much easier to just plug in and it works really well. All right guys, one more test. On um, this test, what I wanna do is I wanna test in, in a real scenario where I'm on the go at a hotel and I'm using my mic and I have my laptop in my mouth with me. I wanna see if the microphone will pick up any of these noises.
All right, and let's go ahead and test the mouse. And let's say I'm taking notes. And I'm just gonna rub a little bit of the table, cause I can. The pen, maybe I'm gonna put it down. Like I normally would. All right guys, so now I wanna do a quick comparison with the two microphones. Uh, I wanna compare the uh, K670A with the T683 next to each other. One thing that I wanna point out that this one has, that this one doesn't have is the uh, volume knob, which is really nice. So you can actually, when you're monitoring the audio, you can actually control the volume, which I think is really nice. On this particular microphone, you don't have that feature. Uh, as, as far as everything else, other than some technical features of the microphone, they're very similar. That's why I wanted to do the comparison so that way you guys can listen to it and see if there's any difference between these two microphones. Other than that, I wanna point out the design on this particular microphone it looks very similar to a blue jetty uh, microphone which i like a lot so pretty cool design so just wanted to point that out all right so let's start with the concept of this microphone i only have honestly i only have one one and that is i or maybe like wishful thinking i wish the uh, the stand on this microphone i wish it had a shock mount as well i think that would be the perfect set up for a portable microphone like this one uh, keep in mind the whole purpose of this microphone is the portability so if you are on the go or if you want something that is easy to set up uh, because you're always moving to different locations I think this is a great microphone for that it has the stand easy to set up just put it on your table connect that to your computer and you are already set up now something like this where you have the whole kit this is something where you have everything already stationed and just sit and just record but if you want something that is portable i think this is it and having a shock mount i think that would have been amazing so that's my only cons on this microphone now moving to the pros of this microphone sound quality you guys are going to be able to judge my opinion it sounds really good really good i'm very impressed and with that comparison going back and forth with the other microphone i was able to tell the difference between the two microphones so as far as sound quality i have to give it two thumbs up as far as the quality the metal body the same with the other microphone as well it's made out of metal body and it has a really nice uh stand made out of die cast so it feels really good uh, the other things that I want to point out, I like the fact that it has that knob where you can control the volume. So while you're monitoring your audio, you have control over that. With the other microphone, you don't have that control. You can actually do it through the computer with the other microphone. But this one, you can actually do it through the actual uh, microphone itself, which is really nice. The size, really cool. Almost about the same size. Maybe this one's a little bit bigger than the other one, but the size uh, is something that will fit easily on your backpack. Uh, or your luggage if you're traveling. So really nice little design. And the way it works is that if you wanna fold this because you're on the go, all you have to do is fold it like this and it's already ready to go. All right, so a few things that I will highly recommend to get with your mic. If you were to get this mic, I will probably get the uh, version that it includes the, uh, the pop filter. Uh, I will say this is definitely uh, highly recommend it i'm gonna go ahead and before we finalize the video i'm gonna go ahead and finalize it with the pop filter on all right so i have the pop filter on the microphone so that's one of them that i would recommend a pop filter and another thing that i would recommend if you are a uh, station at uh let's say your, your studio then i will highly recommend an arm i think that will make things much easier as far as using this particular microphone but again it's particularly designed for the ability to travel portability the easy setup on a stand you go and move to the next place all right guys and that is it for today if you're interested in buying one of these microphones i'm going to go ahead and leave a link in the description below 
Also, if you're interested in watching my previous review on the T683 um, condenser microphone, I'm also going to leave that in the link below. As always, if you did like this video, don't forget to like this video. It helps me a lot here with the YouTube algorithm. And if you like the content I'm producing here, don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to activate that notification bell so that way you don't miss any of my videos. I will see you guys next time. Take care, guys. Bye.